WSA or the World Slingshot Association. They usually set up these circular t targets that we refer to as knockdowns as part of the indoor precision shooting portion of the competition. Those targets will be four, five, six, seven, and eight centimeters in diameter and are usually situated 140 centimeters from the finish floor to the bottom of each target or roughly four foot seven inches in height. And I believe they are usually 10 centimeters apart. The eight centimeter will get you two points, the seven will get you four, the six will get you six, the five will get you eight, and the four will get you 10. Shooters get five shots through each round of competition. Now that we got that out of the way. I'm gonna use this strip of rubber that I got here. It's about a, it's about a quarter inch thick. We're gonna use it to make the actual knockdown targets. So we're gonna be using hole saws to cut the targets. We got 40, 50, 60, 70, and the only one I don't have, I don't have an 80 millimeter hole saw, but so we will have to cut this out by hand and make the 80. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. I don't have an 80 mil hole saw, but I do have this magnet that I use. I'm gonna trace it, we'll have to do some freehand action. Just like that. Cut the 80 out on the scroll saw, hit it with the uh, sanding belt, that's what we got. All right, small disclaimer, the magnets you see here are not what ended up being on the knockdowns. The epoxy didn't hold, we all know HDPE and epoxies usually don't work any glues, but I tried to drill a recessed hole for the magnets, but it didn't take. So I ended up, I found some flat magnets that uh, had screw holes in it, and that's what I ended up ended up uh, putting on it so this is what ended up being on the knockdowns we got a coat of white on them and then we're gonna go with the glow in the dark as soon as that dries they turned yellow because I pray I, I spray painted these white but then I spray painted glow in the dark paint on them and it turned them yellow we're just gonna roll with it there we got all our targets ready now we gotta finish putting this together that has the magnets in it that will hold those up. And then we gotta figure out some uh, mechanism to flip them back up. These are the only screws that I had. All right, so I had to trim this face plate down. It was a little too tall. And I ran some screws into the front here just to hold it, but I do have, I had to cut these off. We're gonna make these put these on here on the inside in a couple spots just to keep it from uh, folding up and then our targets go in here too. I've had to cut some shims to put under the last few of the targets to get all the targets at the same height but this is the configuration of what it's going to look like in the back. Got some braces I'm going to put on here to squeeze in there and then our shims. I'm going to pre-drill all these holes get everything screwed in and then we'll work on the uh, mechanism that's going to reset the targets. All right, let's stiffen her up a little bit. Let them cook. There they are. 
there they are in all their glory hopefully they glow then glow in the dark we'll see how this rubber does all right so all i had was some uh stainless heliarc wire i'm gonna try to bend i've bent this end and i'm gonna try to bend a mechanism that can be pulled and just reset the targets and if it don't work uh we'll just have to walk up and reset them every time but i'm gonna bend this wire and see if i can uh make it work to reset them all right so here's how our wire turned out i got it bent pretty uniform hopefully it's going to be stiff enough and i think i'm just going to drill some holes in this on each end and then it'll be mounted here and then the targets fall hopefully the theory is I can pull it and do this. Let's try our wire. Fit in there. There we go. This one here is being being difficult. Okay, okay. Move the hole over on this end. Yeah, buddy. I think it's going to work. Now, should I attach a spring to this so it'll fall back down? Or just leave it and let the targets knock it over? I think we'll just let the targets knock it over. We got the knockdowns ready. Let's reset them. Easy as pulling this string. It's just paracord. Reset. Gonna shoot a, uh, the Turtle Mojo. Got some fresh .5 with the Omega, leather Omega pouch. Need to get that broke in. Got the lanyard that Bam Bam Outdoors made for me. Finally put it on this. I've been shooting it without a lanyard, but I decided to finally put a lanyard on it. Get the 40. The 50 bounced back up. We're going to count that. 60. All oh, right between the 70 and 80. 70. The last one, that 80. Let's get him. Boom, there's all five. Let's reset them again. Bam. There they are, reset again. Check them out. All right, so me and C-Dog, we're gonna go one round head to head. Five shots, you may go first. Yep. Let's see who can win. It's windy though, bro. Yeah, I shot way high. Bam, two points. If you hit the next one, it's already over. Bam, you won. Oh, come on, clean them up. Oh, you got one last shot. Ooh. You got 246. So you got 12 points. All right, here we go. Right over the top of it. Bam! Oh! So, yeah. Reset them. Reset them. So that, wait, that was 12. Two, four, six, eight. No, you got 12 and then 20. Eight. All right, Sea Dogs were second run. Oh, what's your eye? You can tell. Look at the trampoline curtains. They're like all ballooned up. Around. The wind's blowing it. Oh! Oh, you got 12. Yeah, not so bad, not bad. 12 plus 12, which is 24. So then I just beat you? We know that's tied. Right, we're tied. We gotta go one more. All right, it's the last round. Oh, 
crash out underneath that one, like right under the edge of it. Got it. Oh, here comes the wind. Hang on. Oh, I was trying to get that 50. He hit the, he hit the tripod, didn't it? I got 20. 20. You got to get a 20. All right, here's your last round, bro. You got to get a 20. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. I mean, you can stand there, wherever's comfortable to you. Oh, there you go. There's six points, or four points. Oh, that's eight. You got 12, that one. You hit, what, you shot all 12s, right? Yeah. Yeah. I beat you by eight then. Dang, not that much. That was though. pretty close, dude. We did good. All right. Oh, we did some damage to the HDP on the front. Bam, there they are. They ain't perfect. They're good enough to practice on. They're supposed to be glow in the dark, but that paint didn't work, so. All right, that's it for us this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't get, forget to give us a thumbs up. And as always, get out, shoot if you can. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for hanging out. We'll catch you next time.